You guys have asked a bunch of questions, and no matter how I address these questions on recording here, some of you are going to want more detail, okay? You could ask one little question, you want your 45 minute response, I get it. Other, uh, other questions you guys are just gonna want me to answer more quickly, okay? So I'm just gonna do the best I can, stay consolidated. Mohit Tanwar, I've probably butchered your name, okay? But Mohit Tanwar, first question, is what shall be the strategy for the last 10 days before my step one? Like just revising, cramming through first aid and UWorld flashcards, or doing more questions? Okay, so this is a very broad question you ask. I will just hit you directly and say that in your final 10 days, you need to be doing nothing except for memorizing the NBME questions and doing my PDFs. Now, 25 through 30 are online right now. You need to recognize that the NBME questions are the US Simile. So you're gonna go into the step one, it's gonna look like UWorld, same colors, calculator, lab values, and then you're merely going to have the NBME, the CBSE questions, superimposed into the UWorld interface. I'm prefacing this way because it should be very clear that the US Simile and the NBME, they're the same questions. The US Simile is not AMBOSS, it's not RX, it's not UWorld, it's not Kaplan, it's the NBME questions. You need to calibrate your thinking style to address the NBME questions late. For instance, if you do RX QBank, you're gonna be thinking a certain way through those questions. You go on to EG AMBOSS, you're gonna be thinking a certain way doing those questions. The same with UWorld, you're gonna be thinking a certain way doing those questions. Well, you need to consolidate late by going through the NBME questions because that's how you're going to best calibrate your thinking style so you don't overthink things on the real deal. Now, obviously we can use NBMEs to gauge our progress as we're preparing, okay? But I'm making a point that in the final 10 days, we're going to be reviewing the incorrects from these NBME exams. Let's say you only have 29 and 30 remaining in the final 10 days. You haven't sat those yet. Of course, you're gonna do those now, and you'll make sure you screenshot your incorrects into a PowerPoint or into a Word document, save as a PDF, okay? And if you haven't done any of the NBMEs, that's literally what you need to focus on in the final 10 days. 25 through 30, do those forms. You're gonna screenshot your incorrects into a Word document, save it as a PDF. If you're scoring, let's say, down around passing, you're barely hitting 200, or you're in the 190s or, or under, you're getting at least 50 questions wrong per form. Okay, so you're gonna be uh, 25 through 30, that's six forms, you're gonna be having around 300 questions in a PDF that you need to review in the final 10 days. And if you're scoring up around 260, you might be only getting around eight to 10 questions wrong per form. So I, I say this because it's, because once again, it's not cookie cutter in terms of how to prepare during your final 10 days, but the idea is to maximize your score augmentation peaking late by consolidating around the NBME material. So let's say you are reviewing your incorrects and you you feel like you've already done that comprehensively, you feel pretty good about it. Well, now you wanna saturate yourself out by reviewing the corrects from forms 25 through 30. You wanna memorize those questions, okay? And if you have time, do forms 20 through 24 offline. Okay, 25 through 30 come first in your final 10 days if you haven't done any forms. But let's say you come to me a month and a half out. I don't wanna change the question, you asked final 10 days, but let's say you came to me a month and a half out. I would have you go through forms 20 through 30, that's 11 forms, that's 2,200 questions. That's essentially a QBank. I would have you go through, sorry, my computer's gonna make some sound here. Um, I would have you go through, let's see if I can mute that. I would have you go through forms 20 through 30 screenshot your screenshot out your incorrects and then you're going to develop a master pdf that you're going to be hardcore memorizing during your final days okay spend your time going if you as, as i said before if you already memorize your incorrects you, you've internalized them the best you can go on to the corrects from forms 25 through 30 and if you do that then just repeat this from 20 through 24 okay you want to hardcore memorize those questions now something else to bear in mind is the reason you're doing this is not just because the NBME questions are the USMLE, but also there's going to be repeats from those forms on the real deal. Now, 
I took the I took the step one ten years ago. I, I saw it when NVMe three was online. Okay, and at the time I had two repeats from the NVMe's on my real exam, and then a repeat image with a different vignette. Now there are repeats all over the place. Okay, if you were to do forms one through twenty four, you're going to see tons of repeats on twenty five through thirty. Okay, NVMe burst the bubble. Okay, the repeats are everywhere. Now, of course, the exam is going to pass fail next year, so it technically doesn't matter if you're trying to nab an extra eight points or something starting next year. But right now, while the exam is still numerical, okay, I'm making this clip, clip July 2021. Right now, while the exam is still numerical, if you go through those NBME exams, there's going to be repeats on your real deal. Now, some students might not realize they're getting repeats. That's another interesting point. If, like, for instance, I'll go through uh, incorrect questions with students and I'll be like from let's say form like 27 and I'll be like you know you actually saw this question before and they'll be like no I don't I don't like remember it. and I'll be like yeah you've seen this question before twice there's certain questions that come to mind right now because I've gone through all the forms 1 through 30 there's repeats everywhere okay and they're gonna also show up in your real deal I can't give you an exact number everyone's form is different okay you could sit in adjacent cubicle real exam day and you're going to have a different exam okay so but there's going to be multiple repeats on your exam if you hardcore memorize 20 through 30 you might actually be able to identify some of the repeats on your real exam if you sort of just use them for your score prediction uh, you do more of a cursory review you won't even remember the questions too well and you won't realize they're repeating on your real deal so I reiterate this point because you, in order to maximize your score during the final 10 days, you want to memorize the NBME questions. They're the same questions as the USMLE, and there's going to be some repeats on your real deal more than likely. Okay, now let's say you're doing questions for eight hours a day already uh, during the final 10 days, and you, you just feel saturated out like ADD, you can't do any more. Use my PDFs. Okay, my PDFs are for free on the website. I generate all that information, not just off the top of my head from all the tutoring I've done for the past nine years at the point of this clip, but also from all of the NBME exams, six through 18 offline. The concepts repeat themselves, okay? So students will ask how updated are the PDFs. I did not include factoids from forms 25 through 30, okay? Some students worry about that. Am I going to get an artificial score inflation, okay? So some students might be glad I haven't incorporated forms 25 through 30 factoids in the PDFs, Others might wish I did that because they want that consolidation. But what I can tell you is the concepts repeat. So whether you get a question on cardiac tamponade on form 30, it's still going to be Beck triad, pulses paradoxes, plus or minus, if you got it, let's say, on form 17, okay, offline. So the concepts repeat themselves. So if you go through my PDFs, you're, you're getting at least 90 to 95% the foundation you need. First aid is superfluous. Okay, first aid obviously rides on brand. If you need to know points A through F in order to ace your USMLE, first aid covers A through M of superfluousness, and you have to essentially memorize G through M as extraneous detail in order to just be able to retain A through F. Okay, so there's a lot of extra info in first aid that's just too much. This isn't, I'm agnostic to which resources are ideal. Obviously, I've created resources. Yes, use my resources. But I'm agnostic as far as like, if one, if, if Pathoma is the greatest resource to use in the final 10 days, I would fucking tell you, okay? It's not. So same with first aid. It's just if I have to be honest because I'm trying to get people's scores up, like it's sort of just too much. It's not bad. It's just too much. And... You need to be memorizing the NBMEs and memorizing my PDFs because I extract out the important information from the exams, okay? So that's to answer your question in a cursory sense. I know some of you watching this want a very long discussion. You say, what about X, Y, Z? I get it, okay? We could make this clip uh, very lengthy, okay? But final 10 days, you're going to go through forms 25 through 30, NBME's mandatory, extract out your incorrect, screenshot them into a, a document, save as a PowerPoint, or save it, save as a PDF or a PowerPoint, re review those incorrects. If you saturate those out, go through the corrects, 
And then if you can, if you have time, do 20 through 24, rinse and repeat, and then use my PDFs. Uh, if you've already maxed out uh, at the end of the day, you can't do any more questions, you've already done them for eight hours, use my PDFs and you can annotate into the PDFs as well. Okay, so that's the short version of this question. Once again, I know uh, you guys wanted me to go live on YouTube here, but I uh, they need 24 hours to activate my account. So just um, I'll, I'll continue to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.